The Shadow Leviathan is one of those creatures that if it moved around on land and these things were actually legs, we'd all be saying, kill it kill it with fire. But for some reason, because it lives underwater, it's totally fine. I mean, maybe that's because of the whole water making the flamethrower not work thing, but hey, what do I know? Stalking the crystal caves and the fabricator caverns, the creature has absolutely no chill and will mercilessly hunt pretty much everything in its path, whether that's you, me, your vehicles, or even chalicerates or brute sharks. But for some reason, not the red feather fish. These guys get on just fine. For the rest of us though, it's not clear whether Leviathan is hunting us for food or just because it hates anything that happens to get too close to it. And if you do, you can expect to be pulled into its glowing, acid-dripping mouth by the curved ribcage-like teeth on the underside of its body, passing straight into the creature's stomach. So while your death may be painful, at least you won't have to worry about getting stuck in the creature's non-existent throat. Its blue glowing mouth attracts plankton which are drawn to light. This then entices larger creatures towards the leviathan's mouth to feed on them, which is when the leviathan takes its moment to strike like a large Venus flytrap. Now, if for some reason you don't fancy being turned into a sweet tree, you should be careful to avoid the 16 black long serrated claws protruding on the underside of the creature's body, as these will close around you like a cage and cut off any chance for your escape. The legs attaching these claws to the body are covered in a thick segmented exoskeleton which protects its body as it feeds. These legs also have four extra glowing blue teeth, because the mouth itself just didn't have enough. If the creature does get its teeth into you, you can expect to take 75 damage or to be instantly consumed if below this health. Under the creature's mouth, now three pairs of claws can be found, each decreasing in size as we move towards the creature's tail. Past this point, another final set of what were once claws can be seen, but these are now little more than sharp protruding spikes. The shrinking size of these claws could mean that they were once used as legs for one of the creature's bottom dwelling ancestors, and that as the creature evolved, these started to be used for grabbing prey instead. Taking on the creature in a sea truck or prawn suit won't offer you much protection, with them taking up to 35 and 42 damage respectively when bitten but at least you can withstand its blue stomach acid, and if you have the drill arm attached to your prawn suit, you might be able to give the creature some quick dental work. If the Leviathan does target you, it would be a good idea to hide within the cave's crystals, as they won't be able to reach you within the formations. The Shadow Leviathan's lack of a typical mouth has allowed it to evolve a unique triangular-shaped head. This special shape allows the creature to be more streamlined and cut its way through the water. It also has the ability to terrify anyone who owns a castle, as beneath its skin, thick reinforced armor plates means it can use its head as a battering ram against other shadow leviathans during mating season or against the last redoubt of your falling fortress. Finishing off the creature's head are its six red eyes, with three positioned on each side of its body. These black eyes have large red rings at their center and help the creature identify its prey. The rest of the leviathan's body is smooth and eel-like in nature, and while the creature appears black in the dimly lit biomes where it lives, when exposed to light you can see it actually has a dark blue body. Each side of the creature is lined with 33 small red bioluminescent spots reaching down to its tail, with a further 8 holes in its skin acting as gills to help the creature breathe. The Shadow Leviathan moves through the water by flexing the large fins on the top and bottom of its body. The Leviathan doesn't have a typical tail that ends with a fluke like many creatures, so these large fins starting halfway down its body act as the only way for it to push its way through the water. The fin on the creature's bottom side is slightly smaller, and is complemented by two other small fins which are likely used to keep the creature stable and to help it steer more easily. Past this point, the Leviathan's body ends with a red bioluminescent tip. The Shadow Leviathan's strange appearance seems to be a result of convergent evolution, where creatures independently take on similar characteristics due to facing similar challenges in their environments. This is likely what led to the creature's legs being repurposed into claws over time, as the creature became more specialised to its environment in the planet's depths. It also appears that the Shadow Leviathan has a common ancestor with the Ice Worm, as the two are related, but how long ago these two separated is hard to say although due to their significant differences, it's likely this was long ago. There are only four Shadow Leviathans living within Sector Zero, with them being evenly split between the Fabricator Caverns and the Crystal Caves, and if you somehow do manage to remove their 5000 health, they will not respawn, so it is possible to clear the area entirely. While the Leviathan does have a fearsome reputation, it's not exactly one of 4546B's largest, measuring up at just 60 meters long, or about two thirds the size of the Statue of Liberty, the Shadow Leviathan 
outsizes the Reaper by only 5 meters, and is dwarfed by the Sea Dragon's 112 meter length. The creature's final design was inspired by a number of earthbound creatures, with giant isopods and arrow worms specifically mentioned as inspiring the creature's mouth and mandibles. It also appears to have similar looking gills to lampreys, but this could just be a coincidence rather than a direct inspiration. The Shadow Leviathan could actually hold the title of Below Zero's most redesigned creature, with it having a staggering 21 pieces of concept art that we know of, and a few more which still haven't been publicly released. Some of these show the creature with a mouth on its head, and some are radically different from the final design that ended up in the final game. One of these designs actually looks a lot like a giant evil sea monkey, a far cry from the version of the creature we actually got in game. Unless, no, they couldn't be, right? I'm sure that's not true. They couldn't be Shadow Leviathans. Anyway, it looks like we've made it back up to dry land. Wait, what is that behind that cracking ice over there? If we're going to take a closer look, you'll need to watch this video next to make sure it's safe first. And special thanks to my patrons, Asmodeus Mateus, Still Redacted, and Graham Deloy for making this video possible.